unboxing video time. So, uh, this is exciting time for me because you get some more light going on in here. This should be my Risen 9 3900X. Now, um, this channel has come a long way uh, from the stuff that we have. We, uh, at least with the AMD stuff, we started with a uh, 3400G, uh, 3200G, sorry. Uh, not really impressed with this guy, I will say. And then, what I actually was impressed with, I got a Risen 5 3600X. Now, uh, because I was so impressed with it, I thought, well, I should get a 3700X or a, a 3800X. Instead, I decided Risen 9 3900X. So, um, we have one of these. So I'm sure at some point we'll we'll do some kind of comparison. And, um, you know, for stuff that I do on the side, uh, all that multi-core stuff is actually beneficial. Now, gaming-wise, um, is it going to be beneficial? That is questionable, right? Is it worth spending um, basically twice as much as this guy costs uh, to get a little bit more performance? Uh, probably better to spend that money on the graphics card, right? So, that said, uh, hopefully we will be completely impressed with this guy. And I will take those words and eat them. Alright, so, wow. There's the box. Um, I thought this was a big box. So there they are, side by side. Risen 9 box with the Risen 5. It's got to be all CPU cooler. Uh, and then here's the little little dinky uh, 3200G, right? And of course, this is what your money gets you with Intel. Uh, you don't even get a CPU cooler. So let's move this out of the way. And uh, I've got this back backdrop here. We are really trying to get more professional on this channel. I don't know whether it's happening. Um, problem with the channel probably is the talent in, in front of behind the camera right I'm sure that's what most of you guys say all right so there you go you can see the uh, Risen 9 and whatever reason it's at a slight angle in there it's kind of weird so how do we get in here I should have brought a box cutter um, so there's a little seal I hate to uh, I really hate to destroy this, but looks like we're going to have to, huh? Get in there. And now, um... dun da da, -da. Alright, so we got that off. And this one, uh, we've got a nice Risen 9 sticker. Now, I may or may not put that on the computer. I uh, really don't want my son to know I got this. Um, just like he doesn't know I have this either. So, we won't be putting a sticker on there. He, uh, can't tell what it is beyond that big Noctua CPU cooler on the other one. So, there is the CPU. And I'll, uh, so you guys can see with that, all that power. All that power that we're going to have, looks like. So... There'll be another video uh, related to this, uh, benchmark video. We'll do that. I'll pair this up with the RTX 2070 Super. And uh, hey, if you guys watch more of my videos and I make some more money, we will pair that up with the RTX 2080. And if you guys really watch a lot of my videos, which you probably won't do, um, I will pair that up with a uh, 2080 Ti. Um, so there's actually somebody selling a 10, 1080 Ti uh, local to me. If it wasn't for that freaking uh, virus out there, I think I would actually uh, go pick it up. Um, but, uh, yeah, I don't think it's going to happen, though. Heck of a deal. 
heck of a deal. Now this is actually a big old CPU cooler, folks. Um, wow. Wow, AMD. Now, I, I have to question whether I'm going to spend the money. So there is a little bit of, uh, that's interesting. It doesn't look like thermal paste, but it actually is. Um, I believe this one's the RGB one. But I have to figure out if I'm going to spend some money and replace this uh, with a much better Noctua one. So what do we got here, folks? Different connectors. Um, okay. So, interesting. I'll have to read the directions. 